Now you've seen some brushing skills on a dog that isn't matted, but what happens when you have a dog that comes in with some mats and tangles in, the, in their coat? Well, in this day and age, it's so much easier to work on a dog that is clean than, um, than dirty. And so even with this kind of matting in the coat, I wouldn't brush this coat out before the bath. I would let the products do a lot of the work for me, and I'd l actually get this dog clean um, and get the coat, get the dirt removed out of the coat so the coat is slippery. That's going to be in good shape, but we definitely have some matting going on in here. And the way that I determine whether to bathe the dog beforehand and, and brush it out, or possibly the dog has to be shaved off, is can the water actually penetrate the dog's coat? If the water can penetrate it, then that means the products can also penetrate it. And so we're going to wash and dry that dog before we start the major brush out. So Teddy has been bathed. He's been brushed out. He's also had a heavy conditioning treatment uh, put into his coat. And now we're going to do that same line brushing method that you've seen before. And what I do is I will start low on the dog's foot. And I like to start on a back foot if I don't know the dog, and that way I can sense what kind of reaction I'm going to get out of that dog. But I'm holding this coat up, and I'm just pulling small sections down, line brushing this leg. I'm feeling for resistance uh, on the brush, and as soon as the brush goes through smoothly and cleanly, then I go ahead and move on to the next section. If I hit a resistant spot like I have right here, I just keep patting and pulling that particular area. If I can't seem to get it to brush out, then what I'm going to do is go, hmm, what else do I need to do to work through this area? A lot of times it's just a matter of taking a heavy comb and just sort of picking through that area and breaking that mat apart. I'm going to sink my comb in as a pick. I'm going to hit resistance and then gently let that comb glide out of the coat. I'm not going to power through it. I don't... Where are you going? He likes to lay down. He gets so relaxed with brushing, he normally lies down for this process. So we may end up having to switch if he just insists upon laying down. But I'm going to keep working through this area. And now that comb just went through very smoothly. So I'm going to switch back to my brush and continue to line brush. Feel for the resistance. Pat, pull, pat, pull very, very softly. I'm holding the longer coat out of the way, so I'm just working on very small sections at a time. And I'm working very methodically up the dog's leg. And just keep working and working until the brush glides through smoothly. Hearing it, but I'm not raking against the dog's skin. I'm patting and pulling out and away from his body. So the brush isn't doing any kind of damage to his skin whatsoever. If you don't have a lot of moisture, you're seeing a fair amount of static going on. Like I said, this dog has already been heavily conditioned with a re-moisturizing treatment. But if you've got static um, or it hasn't been treated heavily and the moisture's been put in, and the moisture's been put into the coat, go ahead and give it a quick spritz with a little uh, uh, moisturizing agent and then go ahead and continue right through with your brushing process. Pat pull, pat pull until that brush pulls through smoothly. Almost done with this leg. There's different ways that you can pull this coat out and line brush. I was getting into a difficult area into his upper thigh so instead now I've pulled the coat back this way holding it with my thumb and, and we're holding it with your hand and just continue to work through. Key with any of these brushing methods is to be methodical, soft, and gentle. Now I'm going to go ahead and start back down at the back of the leg because I haven't hit the back or the inside of this leg. So I'm going to just repeat the process all the way up the back leg, handling the back of the leg and the inside of the back leg. And then I'm going to double check that entire area with a comb and make sure the comb just glides through nice and smoothly. Your comb will always check your work for you and make sure you've gotten all of the mats out. I felt a little bit of resistance right on the inside of the thigh. I went, oops, missed a spot. So I'm going to come back in and rework that inside thigh area until I, there's that, there's that tangle right there. Pat pull very softly. 
And as I said with Teddy, he gets like this quite often, but the brushing process is so gentle for him that most of the time he just lays down and goes to sleep for the process. So actually asking this dog to stand is a little bit of a challenge for this old guy. But I think you can see how the process works. Very simple, methodical, line brush, work up the leg, check it, and then move into another section. Once that area is clear, go ahead and move into the next section. I'm going to let Teddy lie down. I'm going to finish up on this side, and we'll bring him back so you can see the total brushed out version.